Hey guys, Chris from Hockey Tutorial here, and today in this video, we're going to be taking a look at the three top spec sticks from Bauer. We've got the Bauer Sync, we've got the Hyperlite 2 from the Vapor, of course, the Sync is from the Nexus, Nixus, and of course, the Proto R, which is the uh, beast that Bauer has released recently. Now, these three sticks, all top spec, two of them are mid kick, one of them's low kick. If you're trying to figure out which is the best Bauer stick for your money that you can get that's an elite level stick, that's what we're going to be figuring out in this video. So let's jump on the ice with these three sticks and figure out which one is going to be the better stick for you to pick up in a Bauer versus Bauer video. Let's go. Okay, so today I'm jumping on the ice with the three kick points of Bauer. Three. three kick points from Bauer. I say three kick points, really it's two, because two of these are the same kick point, but the three top sticks from Bauer at the moment. I'm going to be taking the ice with them, giving them a bit of a feel and seeing which one I think is best and what one I'd spend money on. All right. Let's get it. Same flex, same curve. I mentioned every video. We're right in front of you this time. We can see it. We can see it. Uh, what we do? We're jumping on the ice with the top three sticks from Bauer. We have the Hyperlite 2, the Sync, and the Proto R. Yep. Let's get on the ice and see which one I'd spend my own money on. Let's get it. Okay, so we'll go bottom to top. My least favorite out of the three is the Hyperlite 2. Purely for the fact of it's got no feel for the puck. I think the feel is terrible. I can't stick handle with it. I don't, I'm having to look down and I don't want to get my head taken off. I'm a small player as it is. So if I have to look down at the puck, I'm probably getting, I'm probably getting lit up. I'm probably getting sent into the first row by some six foot two D man. I don't, I don't want that. I want a stick that I can feel the pucks there and I can still take the snipe with. Yeah. So purely for the fact of the, the chances are I can get my head taken off. Yeah. I don't want to be using a stick like that. What, what about the stick handling? You just, you can't feel the puck. I can't feel the puck. I have to look down and make sure the puck is still there. Yeah. And that's just, that's not good. That's not what you want in a stick nowadays. You want to be able to feel it. But what does it do well at? I it's mean, a shooter it's, stick. Okay. It's a shooter stick, and absolutely. Every shot or this Every shot, it cracks. Every single shot, it's got a snap, crack, and the pop. Okay. It's got all three. Okay. But it's got no feel. Okay. And if I'm like that, I guarantee you some six foot two D-man's coming to take my head off. Alright, so every shot excels at you. Every shot. It. Like it doesn't know it's Grip, ribbed. It's, though, it's, it? it's, it's, it's not ribbed. No rib tech. That could be the problem. I don't know. <laughs> But I just I can't feel the puck with it. And if I have to look down, I know I'm getting hit. Okay. And being a small player, this this helmet's gonna be taking a lot of damage and I don't want that. Yep. So okay. that purely for the reason that I can't feel the puck, that is why that's bottom. Alright. I'll hand that to you, Mr. Chris. There you go. Okay. Thank you very much. Now what is what's next, man? I'm curious. It's the sink. Alright. It's the sink. Purely for the fact of it is it's got a really nice shot to it. It's got a really it's got a decent feel but I don't think I'm that consistent when shooting with it. Okay. I feel like the, the five saw throws me off a little bit, Yeah. but it's got a great shot. I don't know, it feels like a low kick, but I know it's a mid. Mm -hmm. it, it, it sort of messes with my head a little bit. I'm like, this is, this is coming off so clean. So basically every shot backhand, wrist shot, like? I think it definitely sells a wrist shot. Okay. I think it just snaps off the bottom of the stick, which is quite strange actually, but it just, it's, it goes. It's effortless too. But like I said, one minute it's going bar down, next minute it's going into the top netting and into the stands. Oh, I see. So it's, it's very inconsistent. 
It might be me, I don't think it is, but it's, it's very inconsistent. I mean, I don't want to stick, I can go down and be picking a corner and it's picking the, the top row. I think when that stick launched and we did a video of it, you said the same thing then. Yeah, I mean, I love it. I do really like it, but the five side just sort of throws me off a little bit. Yeah, it's just an adjustment, isn't it? It is. It, I mean, I'm sure if I spent a lot of time with it, yeah. I'd get used to it, but I mean, I don't really want to be spending weeks of my training getting used to a stick. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? That's just not ideal for me. So for that reason, purely for the fact of that it's so inconsistent, is why it's second. Okay. Fair play. Now the top stick, the Proto R. This one ticks every box for me. Shot, feel, slap shot, backhands, wrist shot, the lot. It's, it's the stick I'm using at the moment. I'm using it back at club with the Invicta Dynamos. Okay, I mean, when we did the uh, Ghost versus the Proto R, there was a lot of comments saying that some people felt the Ghost was much more consistent and had better feel, um, and other people are saying that the Proto R breaks a lot. I've not really seen too many comments on the I've, I've had breaking. not many issues with the Proto R. Yeah. Personally, it's, it's not broke on me, it's not gone soft. I use it every week and I love it. It's a great stick. It's, it's got gruesome. It is, man, it is. It is it's, it's, it's hurting a little bit, I can't lie. <laughs> You can't hate on me anymore. I give credit when credit's due. Agreed. It's a great stick. It's got great feel and it works for me. Therefore, I'm going to use it. I've always said that. If it works for me, I'm going to use it and it's working. So I'm using it. It's a great feel, great shot. It's got the snap, crackle and the pop big time. It's next level. I don't, I don't know. It, it's, it's very nice. Bauer, well done. Do you think the price is justified there? Because it's not a cheap stick, man. Or do you think there's other sticks out there that you could jump on that would be cheaper that you could have a go with? Or for, for I, think that, I think there's always a stick that you can jump on with and have a go with that's probably a lower price. I'm, I mean, me and Chris probably have one in mind that's a lot lower. Latex. Yeah. I mean, it's a very nice stick. We're not going to get into that because maybe we can do a separate video where we compare the two different kick points. But hey, if you want to see it, let us know. Yeah. But this stick is is very nice. So if you go in top spec Bauer, Proto if, if we're putting these three, you, you're going to a shop, you're a Bauer guy, and you want to spend your hard earned money, go with a Proto R. So of course two of these sticks have the same kick point, one of them's a low kick. I would naturally think you'd go for the low kick stick, but do you think it's worth mentioning that obviously, regardless of what type of shot you like, the Proto R kind of has you covered? Or is there another stick out there if you're a, a typical mid kick player, like you know, doing bigger slap shots, bigger wrist shots, you're not really doing those quick release shots. Do you think that, that comes into play or not really? I think a little bit. Yeah. I, do, I do think so a little bit. I think for me, I have better slap shots with, can I say the brand? Okay. For me, I feel like I have better slap shots and better snap shots with the FT Ghost, which is why I chop and change between the two. Yeah. But 90, I'd say, 60% of the time I'm using the Proto R yeah. because I take more, more wrist shots okay. than I do slap shots. If I get on the PP and I've got a chance, you know, sometimes I change over really quick, so I've got that, quick, that slap shot. But nine, I don't want to say nine times out of 10 because that's not, but it's this, you know, the saying. Most of the time I'm using this, unless you know, I forget to tape it between the periods or something, then I change over. But 60% of the time I'm using this Proto R and it's been doing very, very good for me. Okay, fair play. Just a quick touch on the, the grip of all three of these sticks that are the same curve, same flex. Um, personally, I'd say the worst grip is the sink, which is probably why I'm so inconsistent with it. But the best grip is obviously the Proto R. It doesn't have, it's, it's, the, the feel really kills it for me on the Hyperlite 2. Because I love how it shoots, but I just can't feel the stick. But the grip, the worst is probably the Sync, then the, Pro, uh, the Hyperlite 2, and the Proto R. The Proto R really ticks every box. The Sync is great for sh a wrist shot. It's got really nice snap and pop to it. It's got a snap and a pop. The Hyperlite's got the snap, crackle, and the pop, but there's a chance you get your head taken off. So <laughs> it's sort of really up to you. But if it was me and I'm spending my money, I'm going with the Proto R. What are the shaft uh, dimensions like? Can you feel with your gloves on um, a difference in, in all three of their shafts or does it feel quite similar or what were your thoughts there? When I've got my gloves on, the only one I really feel the difference is, is the sink because obviously it's got that five dimension shaft. Yeah. But other than that, the other two feel the exact same. So I really don't know why you can't feel the puck or I can't feel the puck yeah. with the Hyperlite 2. 
I really different construction, different blades. You know, it's weird. I really wish I could because I really like the shot of the Hyperlite too. Yeah. But I just I can't risk my head getting taken off. So therefore, I'm using the Proto R. All right. That's fair. All right. So that's it for today's video. Obviously, before you go, make sure you like and subscribe. Let us know in the comments any videos you want to see. Me and Chris will try our best, more Chris than me, to make it happen and get it on the ice for you guys and let us know what we think. Until next time.